Right, it's Tuesday, second Tuesday in the week of this Easter week. John 20, beginning of verse 11. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she bent over into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting there. And at the head, at one of the feet, where the body of Jesus had been, they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They've taken my Lord, and I don't know where they have laid him. When she said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Uncle Leroy got a job down in the broom factory. On the first day, the straw boss, that means floor supervisor, he calls old Leroy into his little office and says to, says to him, you're the new man here, huh? What's your name? Leroy replied, Leroy. And the supervisor says, well, I don't call anybody by their first name. It breeds familiarity, familiarity, and that leads to breakdown in my authority. I refer to all employees by last names. So tell me, what's your last name? Leroy smiles and says, it's Darling, Leroy Darling. And the supervisor said, now, Leroy, the next thing, well, no, call him darling, of course. But something about names are important. And so here's Mary, who didn't recognize Jesus, the resurrected body. But when he says her name, Mary, her eyes are open. She still sees Jesus as it was before his death and resurrection by calling him, you know, Rabboni, which means teacher. Was a step in growth in faith, but it's when he calls her name. And that's how it is. The most important thing, most, most pleasant sound to our ears is our own name. And, when, and Jesus calls us by name. He speaks to us. If we allow Jesus to be quiet, and just that inner voice, we can hear Jesus calls us as well. We're not just one of many uh, in this huge world that we live in. He knows us as an individual who, for, who God has formed and shaped in a unique way. And so, uh, May you hear the Lord call your name, and may you recognize his voice and follow him. Bless you.